Hello middle school. Today we are going to be making a timeline based on a person that you really like. I happen to like Warren Buffett, so I made a timeline based on his life. So you're going to be making your timeline using Google Slides, okay? And I want you to have a picture of the person that you're choosing, and you need to have at least 10 different um, life events um, for your timeline. To do this, it's really pretty simple, um, and I want you guys to make multiple timelines. So the first timeline that we're going to make is how do we add this center line here? Okay, so all you're going to do, guys, is find where it says line. You're going to click on that, and you're going to draw a line all the way across, okay? Then to make the line thick, because it's not going to come out this thick starting off, we're going to click on it. And then do you see where it says line weight? You're going to click on that and choose it to a bigger pixelization, okay? So just make sure it's bigger than, I would say, four pixels, okay? Then how do you add these like elbow thingies, okay? You're going to look over to where it says select line and then go to elbow connector. And you can add in um, that to your sheet. So I'll just show you an example just real quick. Once you click on the elbow connector, you can just go up like this and it makes the elbow connector. If you don't want it anymore, hit the delete button. Okay, now we're going to make a shape. Okay, so this is pretty simple as well. Do you see where it says shape? We're going to click on that. And then we're going to click where it says um, rectangle. Let's click on this nice rectangle. And let's make a rectangle. Just like say, okay, whoa, but I don't want the color filled like that. So we're going to click on it. And then do you see where the paint bucket is right here where it says fill color? Let's click on that and click on transparent. But Mr. Love, I don't want this color. Okay, let me show you. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to click where it says line color. And let's make it purple just like the other ones. Well, I want the line to be thicker. Okay, you're going to click on it. And then you are going to go to where it says line thickness, just like we talked about earlier. And let's click on eight. Boom. We just did that. Okay. So really, guys, I want you guys to have a timeline that is coherent from when he was born to at least much later in his life. So Warren Buffett hasn't died yet. So you can't have a death, but you can have when he was born. And then we can have an event back in 2008. Um, one of the things that he did was uh, he was the world's wealthiest person in 2008. So that'd be a good point to add um, somewhere in this region. I could probably put this point for 2008. But you need to have several other points for his timeline. With this project, guys, I want you guys to be creative. You don't have to do rectangles. You can do circles. Um, let's look at some other shape options. You could do arrows. Um, there are many different ideas that you guys can do. You could do like some polyline here. Anything really goes. I want to look professional though. I want to look really good, high quality. You're going to be graded on um, the, the polished look of this as well, okay? And then you're going to, after you make this project, you're going to upload it to the Google Classroom, okay? I will have a timeline turned in as well. And make sure when you're using, um, to get the information for this project, guys, you're going to use Wikipedia. And I know that some of the teachers at Valley Christian Elm, or Middle School, they're going to say Wikipedia is a bad source to use. But I endorse Wikipedia fully because if you scroll all the way down to the, the bottom, do you see where it says references? Click on those and, for example, it says Forbes. Forbes is a credible source. So in, that means that Wikipedia is a credible source. So use Wikipedia, take advantage of that because it's quick, easy, and uh, it really um, gives you a wealth of information for free, okay? So use Wikipedia on your timeline. Okay, good luck with the timeline, guys. And um, again, like always, just uh, raise your hand if you have any questions. Good luck.